I pressed pause. When did I when did I mute myself? <laughs> All right, we're back. Uh, I'm sorry if half of the last game was muted. I'm not quite sure when I muted myself. Most likely it was between uh, hitting pause on the last video. But we are here on Mint. We have Rainbow Shadow. Go watch the other games before because I'm about to spoil the score. We are 2-0 to Rainbow Shadow in the games in a best of seven. We're on Mint. Rainbow Shadow going to be picking up a second frag, starting this game off very, very strongly. Cuff Patrou's just swapped over data connections over to mobile data uh, as the internet was getting pretty skippy, apparently, on the throughout the last map. Lost it pretty convincingly. I don't believe that... Uh, don't believe it was the cause of the loss. No one's kind of claiming it is. Cuff of True's not like, oh, it was my internet. Just changing it up before it gets too bad, I guess. One of those things where it just gets worse over the night, it seems, you know, as we get more towards prime time on a Saturday night as we stream this. But yeah, let's get the uh, follow killer cam on because I forgot to. We're going to go over to Cup of True. Who's going to be going down into Mint's minty sauce of poison pools. You do not want to be going down into Mint. Really, one of those things that stings like uh, really badly when you're cut. Like dipping your finger into ethanol or degreaser. Rainbow Shadow just floating the map. Cup of True's got a decent stack. Wow, he's just managed to do a lot of damage there. Rainbow Shadow just trying to get into the same room as Cup of True, but Cup of True hitting perfect direct shots through the doorways, really stopping Rainbow Shadow in his tracks. This map, compared to the last two we've played, much more of your classic. You've got a mega health. You've got two smaller armors. You've got one mega armor and it's a very nicely built for xenotic map it uses a lot of xenotic's movement tricks which i'm sure we'll see come out throughout here you've got high up things that can be reached with the blaster just like that and the ability to move around we've got glass floors quite nicely positioned there for you to be able to see lots of verticality in a well-designed xenotic map i think as we have the blaster, we can get around in the uh, in the verticality. Rainbow Shadow really moving well around this map. Using the blaster, oh, just managing to get up on there with Xenotic's high step height. Managed to get up on the top of that podium. Pick up the armor and... Uh, Sorry, there's no Mega Armor on this map. Why did I think there was a Mega Armor on this map? Uh, okay, scrap what I said about it being a more classic map. It is more classic in its design of being a lot bigger. Uh, rather than a very tight, small map. But certainly plays well in Zenotic. And what I said about the map, like, geometry design being designed around the blaster and everything definitely uh, definitely still true you wouldn't have this in a lot of other games like quake 3 you'd be taking way too much damage from your rocket launcher cover true posting dot dot because rainbow shadow is in a corner just kind of uh, bobbing around not giving as much insight into what he's doing, but he comes out the corner, does a lot of damage. Cup of True going to be on one health, can't manage to pick up the 50. Rainbow Shadow is going to get it, but take a lot of damage in the process. Cup of True hasn't taken any damage in a little while, so he starts regenerating health, and he might manage to even take out Rainbow Shadow if one of these shots connects. Somehow both of these players are still alive and on such low health. Cup of True with one health, missing the 50 health. Rainbow Shadow picking it up. And then somehow Cup of True comes out of that with the frag. How the hell? And indeed Rainbow Shadow has just been fucked in the ass. Because there's no other way to put that. Uh, well he popped up behind him and shot him with a railgun. <laughs> Though he did just got ra get railed from behind. It's 
the one F bomb we're allowed, and we're still PG, right? We can just ignore all of the uh, sexual innuendo that comes from having a rail gun and big nexes. No shafts in this game, though. No shafts. Scores are evened up, which is... I've sort of missed where the scores have been going, to be honest. I haven't been looking at the scoreboard. I've just uh, more been seeing how both these players are moving around the map. And Rainbow Shadow is playing this one. Like, right at the start, Rainbow was playing this super fast, super loose. But now he's really settled back. Even though, even when he had that lead and cup, uh, lead in terms of armor and health... And Cupertry was just sort of waiting, trying to find him. And Rainbow was, like, just sort of hiding in a corner, just playing it super tight. But he seems to have lost the item timing. And Cupertry doesn't seem to have it because the Mega's now up. But he is going to get back across to it. So he probably did have the timing, but didn't think Rainbow Shadow had the timing. Turns out Rainbow had the timing, and I seem to be the most confused out of all of this about who's got what timing as they dance around items, move back. Potentially they go, oh no, my maths was a bit wrong. It's this time. Happens sometimes. And Rainbow on such low health here. Cupertry, you have no idea if you just connected anything you would have got that frag. You didn't need to be hitting with the big hitters. Only just manages to not jump off before taking that armor. Grabs the mega health on the way through to the other armor, which gets picked up straight away by Rainbow Shadow. As it spawns, he's on the good time with that one. And... Uh, cupertry has got a bit of a lead, but it's certainly not insurmountable. Rainbow going to start that right now, but on very low health. And on this map, I do love how you can get to pretty much anywhere if you're in the right position and you don't need the blaster. But you can get to anywhere from anywhere if you're willing to use the blaster. Uh, it means that th there's some maps where it's like, you, oh, you can't get here unless you rocket jump or use the blaster. Uh, or you have to go like a really long way around. And that kind of sucks a little bit. Uh, because it means you can... Uh, if you're on low health, you're probably not going to be able to pick up that item. And your opponent might be able to come in, get a long range... Long range shotgun shot on you. But this map... I really do like how Mint is designed, actually. I do think it's top tier Xenotic map built for the game. Rather than ported over. As far as I'm aware. If it has been ported over. It's certainly been ported over. From a game with similar mechanics. And from a game with. Uh, other stuff. Is Rainbow Shadow just spamming F. Hopefully that's not FF as in forfeit. But only a minute and a half left. So we'll probably see them play this game out. And I mean it's only one frag. So you wouldn't really forfeit at that point. Especially if you're just going to even it up right now. We could be seeing an overtime because these guys have been going back and forth. Just a little bit right now. Rainbow. Looks like he's going back to playing the super tight game. Yeah, he's on that item. Cupertry's going to be into the mega hole. But look, Rainbow's just going to stand on the item. Now that's a really risky play. Because all oh, that was beautiful. But it's a really risky play. Uh to stand on the item because your opponent knows exactly where you are like they can just spam it and if you're going to spam into a room with an item you're probably going to be aiming for the item even if you you know you're coming around a corner you're going to be going oh well i know where the item in this room is so i'm going to aim for the item oops didn't mean to click there sorry nice shot from rainbow beautiful finisher from cup of true Rainbow's going to get into this position. Cupertru has 20 seconds to find Rainbow to send us into overtime. And Rainbow's going to come around the corner at a bad time. He's going to be running away. Cupertru knows he's got to find Rainbow. Rainbow knows he's just got to survive. He's got to run away. Get the hell out of dodge. This could be such a close game. It's 
going to come down to the absolute wire. Kopitru just can't connect with the shots and the time is up. An absolutely incredible game. Both of these players' hearts have got to be absolutely racing, but neither player could manage to get it finished off. Uh, oh, sorry, Kopitru couldn't manage to quite get it finished off. That's a fantastic game. We are three games in. Three have been won by uh, Rainbow Shadow. But we're going into the fourth. And it could be a reverse sweep. Let's have a look. I'll see you in the next one. We're going to Fuse.